So I guess the no thank you guy was, uh, uh, he really did take that the wrong way. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. Kind of half incognito here. Boy, that's silver lining, I guess. Yeah, all my shit's getting worn out. I had one guy tell me one time, why don't you just sell everything? And I'm like, what, these busted headphones? <laughs> that I have to wear a hat to even have them fit my head anymore? Shit. It's like I almost should fucking just go ahead and hit this. Yeah, give me a second. Let me see if I can do Bluetooth switch over in the middle of recording. It looks like it connected. I guess I'll know after I'm done recording, right? Didn't, I, I wonder if I should flip that. Hold on. Can't quite see it. Let's see here. Yeah. How's it going? Well, you still can't tell the damn thing's recording. There it goes. Yeah, I thought recording light was supposed to be fucking red, but whatever. U.S. fish business, I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> U.S. fish business, I don't care what you're doing now. Yeah. It's not really a laughing matter, is the problem. And I normally do a little bit of comedy with shit, but really... I don't know if I can get the light. Yeah, you can probably see that backwards. U.S. official business. It really isn't a laughing matter. I could be saying it till I'm a broken recorder, but... That's about what it feels like these days. And I've been uh, trying to prep a couple other places just so I can try to do just this. And maybe, just maybe, the right person will finally come along. And I'll get exactly how much I need. I mean, the only other thing I can do is get a print off of the fucking ticket and how much it costs. I've got a screenshot of it, that's it. So. But. Incoming. How are you doing this evening? Probably out here just talking a bunch of science stuff. I haven't gotten into the science stuff. I'm very official about this, even though I can barely do it with a straight face. You know, it reminds me of the days of doing security work down in New Orleans and overseas. At least over there, you can get away with smoking a joint every so often. Here, if I wanted to get into legitimate security, it, I'd have to fucking start taking the prescription for epilepsy instead. Now, I'm not going to sit here and have my First Amendment imposed upon. I got a copy of the Constitution with me, too. Especially, you know, that's about it. I've got the email. That just needs to be printed off. And uh, then I got to go to ProMedica down the road. Now that it's warming up, other than this little rainstorm that's coming through, um, 
I should be able to get down there, get the uh, proof that I have epilepsy from them, and there won't be any more questions on that notion of a problem. And uh, I'm trying to think, there's one more, one more thing I'm going to need to get into this portfolio. Uh, I'll just have to write it down or type it out when I remember. But the medical marijuana thing will be covered at that point too. So I won't even I won't even worry about it. Um, U.S. Fish and Business you can't help a guy out with U.S. It's all right. Have a good night. And so I'm getting tongue-tied. I really, I knew tonight was the night I should have just fucking bought a beer. I, I still might. At this point, they, this is how it kind of goes. So this is why even if I was saving up everything I've earned, I still only have about 80 bucks. I would have just hit just under 90, probably after tonight or tomorrow. But that's across four or five months. That's not like... Like these people who are really motivated for money. That don't have U.S. official business. They don't have a legitimate problem. They, they'll, they'll stand out at places like this and just harass everyone for money. And I'm just like... You'll, you see, half the time I don't say anything as people are walking by. And I normally have an old policy not to even ask anyone until after they leave. But in this case, when you got inside and outside working on that, it's kind of interesting to find out what people's reactions were when they go inside. So it kind of adds another dimension to it. Speaking of which, I'm horrible at breaking the fourth wall and the fifth wall when it comes down to it. Everyone is walking around in their own little bubble worlds most of the time. Admit it. So when I go through popping bubbles with reality checks, well, that's about it then. And there ain't no one even here. This is what kind of normally happens. That's why I don't push too hard for this. But something about the truth of it on the whole uh, quantum level of shit seems to really not jive like uh i went to go use the printer today at the library with the full intention of getting that email printed off that says that my son was kidnapped by his mother and all right have a good night nothing lined up it was too busy all right how's it going I still find it interesting, though, uh, on a sub note. Yeah. That if I was actually out here because of something I did, you know, like a drug problem or fucked up my own life fucking around with other people that's generally how you fuck your own life up when you go around and try to fuck with other people and fuck up doing that and uh, I'm out here those people I'm sorry I'm those, those people the lights get to me after a while give me a moment
Now, those kind of people are out here and they as I said, they harass people and but they're making something like almost two hundred dollars a day. It's like the other night and a guy was at a, at one of these stores you can do uh, one of the easy pick numbers where they have the screen you can just sit there and do the lottery all night. And he spent two hundred dollars which is exactly how much I need to get back over to Santa Cruz. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm on. I'm documenting uh, my life basically since my identity got stolen, and uh, someone's been running around using it. I just got back from Europe, so I'm kind of documenting it at this point and uh, trying to at least get the word out because there's no services or anything that'll help. So. And all I can tell you is the same thing I tell every kid before they get their ID. Never lose that shit. Hold on to it for your life. <laughs> and that is, that is a word to the wise. If you ever go traveling on the road, don't bring your fucking birth certificate with you. Don't bring your social security card with you. And make sure you've got, actually, that shit's with someone that you can contact if your license gets drifted away or stolen. So. <sighs> and, you know, try to keep a safe box. That's what I did when... I first got things back, and unfortunately, the whole safe box got stolen. So, <laughs> when I got it back, it had been busted open, and just my tarot cards were left in it. You know, I've been places uh, where you, if you steal from people on the street, other people will go and get your shit back. I've been places like that. I don't know who thought I chose that way of life, <laughs> but uh, definitely became a matter of uh, survival. I got one cigarette left. This rainstorm's gonna come through, so nothing really uh, panning out on uh, part two of U.S. official business tour. But, uh, I'm optimistic, even if I'm just entertaining the idea of being optimistic at this point. But, uh, peace out, YouTube.